Peggy uh, has been on this show. She comes down. We love her. Tell her I said love, man. I haven't seen her in years, man. She, is, she was so great. I yeah. always loved her. She's yeah. still great. Exactly. When I did the, I had to do a bunch of uh, remixes for Prince, I called Peggy. I said, you got to come help me do this. This is yours. And she came over, and uh, she's exactly the same. She's yep. just wonderful. Super no quick. Filter, years right away. She's amazing. She was great. She's down. Um, she, obviously, she, she is. I don't even know was. She's still with us. Yeah. She's, oh, yeah, she's cool. Bag, I'm just kidding. I'm cool. Peggy McCray worked with Prince for six, seven years. Did you see Prince yeah. in those days back here? I mean, oh, Paul gave the, him a piano. No, 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 no. This is great Prince stories. Uh, the first time I worked with Prince was in Studio 3 worked with, with him. James Newton Howard uh, was producing Valerie Carter. Oh, and, yeah. And Prince had just been discovered by Cavallo Ruffalo Management yeah. Company, and he'd flown him in from Minnesota, and, and James had hired me for the session anyway. And uh, he said, man, there's this kid here, man, from Minneapolis. He's supposed to be some genius guy. They want they want him to co-produce with me or whatever. I think he's just going to hang out a little bit. Don't worry about it. And he was my age, so I didn't, you know. So I get in there, and I didn't know Prince. I go, I thought, first thing you hear is somebody calls himself Prince. I'm going, <laughs> that's his name? Or did he did he give that to himself? I'm just being a smart ass. I know nothing about this guy. Right. Well, he Prince, was a, huh? He's a nun. And, uh, you know, so anyway, he's there, and he's just this little quiet, skinny little dude. And, he, and you know, this was before you blew it out for the tracking it was, it was just, just the, overdub the mix room. room overdub with one vocal oh, yeah wow that's all that was there when we did hydras so that would have been 79 80. yeah um anyway so this would have been right around that time period and he was i was sitting with like say this is three james was sitting here i was sitting here playing speakers there the couch is where you are down so i didn't really see him but I'd play something. I was doing solos or something like that. And I'd do something. I'd play something. And James goes, yeah. And all of a sudden, it'd be real quiet. And from the front, it would just be this. <laughs> Look over. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> <laughs> didn't say a fucking word, man. And I'm going to James. Go, what's up with this cat, man? I mean, he was creeping me out. <laughs> he didn't, wow. never said a freaking word to me. <laughs> So that's the first Prince encounter. <laughs> and that's a production on I'm his part. I'm playing all day long. The cat never said nothing to me, man. Wow. Just occasionally would stare at me in a very odd way. <laughs> so then he becomes Prince and all this thing. Well, well he was uh, mixing Purple Rain. Yeah. I was working here, too, and he was in three. And it was like 10 in the morning. I was here for a tracking session for somebody. I forget who it was. And he was sitting on that purple bike that was in the movie in a silver lame suit, <laughs> sitting on it, and it's not on, yeah. right? At the, at the, he had this like a huge um, bodyguard, bo white bodyguard guy oh, with the white big hair, dude. you know, yeah. play basketball with him in high heels and stuff like that. It's pretty freaky. <laughs> but the cat was on the bike, man, and I just, when I'm walking in, I like, I see him, I got a guitar, I go, hey, man, and he's, I got like one of these, he's sitting on the bike, it's 10 in the morning with the full everything, you know? <laughs> He's like this. I go, hey man. He goes, oh, really? <laughs> I got a little. I got a little. Uh. <laughs> and I've had many, a few prints. In wow. The so I'm a big fan. Let me just say, of course. As yeah. a musician, Did you? Yeah, he wouldn't talk to me, man. He and wouldn't talk to anyone. And it, and it Very lasted quiet. a long time because we did this. I don't know. I made it ten years ago, maybe a little longer. We did a, a show in Curacao, which is, a, I want to say, a Danish island. Mm. And they have the uh, the jazz North Sea Jazz Festival Curacao. Yeah, and we did we headline one night. And Prince was headlining one night. Oh, so we were there the night before. And now I knew we were going to this island. So six months prior, I had booked the biggest suite overlooking the ocean because it was a vacation. I'm going. I'm going to hang here afterwards, and yeah. I want the nicest room they got. My dime. Well, apparently Prince wanted that room, oh. <laughs> and I already had it, <laughs> and I was right above him. Oh my! And he was dear. pissed, and I wanted to go see the show. He wouldn't let us come on the stage to see his show, and and our tour manager at that time used to work for Prince as a tour manager. Oh no, kidding! So you had a connection, and he was, oh yeah, he, he was totally like no. He also screwed. Yeah, well, I'm not going to start talking about this. <laughs> anyway, it was a very. I find it humorous. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I was going to drop down like a little rubber duck with a sign on it and say, hey, man, are we cool? <laughs> you know, but you know, <laughs> but uh, that didn't get to happen. You know uh, what I mean? Wow. 